His songs were anthems. And by 2002, the band had recorded a second album. Despite experiencing lineup changes, Taxi Ride continued to record new music and play at live shows. This year, Jason has released his highly anticipated debut solo album. And Jason Singh joins us now live in the studio. G'day, Jason. Hello, Hello mate. Awesome. I loved hearing all those songs again. I did too. It's been a long time. Where did you get all that footage from? I haven't got most oh, of that. Oh, we, <laughs> yeah, we have our sources. Do you ever... I guess it's kind of rare for an artist just to sit back and listen to all, all their old CDs. I mean, I guess that doesn't happen very often, does it? Uh, oh, look, I haven't um, sat down and listened to the whole record for a long time, yeah. but, you know, if I'm... If I'm out listening to my iPod and a song comes on, it always does take me back yeah. to those, um, you know, those great times we had. Sure. Now, Kylie Jason, I, I've met Jason probably 10 years ago. I used to work at a radio station. Yeah. I've been there at, at in stores, at performances, radio station visits. Wow. When you look back on those days, does it feel like it came quite easily for Taxi Ride, or was it a hard slog? Uh, we, did, we did do a lot of work prior to coming out with that record, probably four or five years of getting together every day and working on a sound, you know, like trying to come up with something really different. So probably in the public eye, it seemed like a really fast rise, but for us, you know, we did do a lot of work behind the scenes to get there. but. You know, it's always you've got to do it, don't yeah, you? You relocated to the US fairly early on, right, to do the first album. Yep. Take us back to those days. Um, you know, we were just sort of fresh out of bands around Melbourne and um, we got together. Um, we were all sort of lead singers of bands around Melbourne. Yeah. And we decided to combine forces and then got signed up to a record deal and shipped off to America to make a record and, you know, in a sun on Sunset Boulevard and a big studio. It was just a dream come true. Heady days. Yeah, Mind you, bringing together amazing. a whole bunch of lead singers, that would have been an interesting dynamic. Yeah, there were, were, <laughs> were some really fun times. <laughs> Is that why you're out on your own now? Oh, I, I'm not sure, but, you know, I think it was maybe time for me to step out and, yeah. um, and try and prove to myself and... And, you know, I just wanted to keep making new music and keep coming up with a different style, so I just decided to just do it on my own. And Is that a really important thing to kind of, to have a new chapter every now and again to start afresh? I, I think it is. I mean, as a creative person, you want to just... I, I wasn't happy with just sort of going over and playing those um, songs over and over again forever without doing something new, you know, so... I had the opportunity to work with Charles Fisher, who's a um, superstar producer from Australia. He moved back to Melbourne and um, we met up and I played him some of my demos and, and uh, he loved them and we started the process like that and before I knew it I'd had enough songs to make a new record. Well, how often do you get asked where the name Taxi Ride originated from? Because there is an interesting yeah. story behind it, right? Yeah, well, early on it was yeah. the first question in every interview yeah. that we ever did. You know, a friend of ours drove a cab and um, we weren't really doing many gigs as Taxi Ride and we'd give him cassette tapes cassette tapes kids. Yeah. <laughs> and um, he'd play them to his clients in his cab you know he'd have people like Molly Meldrum come through he'd play the songs to them and and so that's the first place people heard us play was in a taxi so gee that's cool on. oh that's so cool the that's taxi really driver's cool. got the cassette and Molly Meldrum yeah. gets in the cab <laughs> pretty much I mean he had a few people would like get in and you know he'd always give it that's how we got our feedback yeah. of what songs were good and what songs weren't that good you know so yeah. Gee, that's so great. Okay, so the new stuff. Yes. Solo, debut album, very yes, exciting. It is. Tell us about the sound. Uh, well, I've tried to combine all the sort of styles of music that I really like. I'm a huge fan of 80s sort of pop music. I'm a big Prince fan. Um, but I also do like rock music as well, so I've tried to combine all the sounds um, that I love into one album, you know, so every song on the record is really different from the last um, But it's a real cap it really captured like a couple of years of my life You know in, in the storylines behind the songs. Great. And stuff. Well, we can't wait to hear it and we're going to I know. Uh, don't, don't go away Jason <laughs> is going to stick around to perform a song from his debut solo album. That's uh just ahead. Yes. So we're looking forward to hearing that. Good chat. Nice good chat. chat. Very yeah. good chat. Yes. Okay. We should do this again. Yeah, we should. <laughs> and it looks exactly the same. It hasn't great. changed in 10 years. Looks great. I know. Yeah. I froze myself in Michael Jackson's thing. <laughs> <laughs> now he's been using all that. Did you see all that face cream on the front of the album right. cover? Yes. Yeah. Slathering himself <laughs> with that stuff. That's it what it is. Wonders. That's the secret. Okay, look forward to hearing it. Cheers. Like in the dark. Love to have more vibrant, more youthful looking skin. Suzanne's here to show us all how. Good morning, Suzanne. <laughs> morning, Karen. And you know how much.